pretty sure you guys know this is true. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people know this is true. Pretty sure a lot of people know this. This is true deep down, whether they want to admit it or not. Um, this is some real shit that I'm about to talk about. And a lot of people know this is true. But a lot of people don't want to admit this. They don't want to admit this. A lot of people know this is true. And I've even stated this before. God does not love everyone the same. He doesn't. Because you have some people who experience nothing but pain in their life. Nothing good happens for them. You know, they constantly get ridiculed. They constantly get treated like shit. Some people, no matter what they do, they can never catch a break. And it make you wonder after, after a while, like, no matter what some people do in their life, things just never pop for them. Things never work out. They never get a breakthrough. Just bad shit always happens to them. And that's how you know God, he don't love everybody the same. When some people are evil, narcissistic pieces of shit, you know, but since they meet the standards of society, you know, since they was, you know, born good looking, since they come from a privileged background, you know, they get treated like royalty. And then some people are not so fortunate, you know, you know, they don't meet the standards of society they don't measure up to society standards so since they don't meet the standards of society they get treated like shit god don't love everybody the same and it's so fucking true and some people experience nothing but pain in life no matter what the fuck they do they experience nothing but pain pain and adversity that's all they experience. And it's really, really sad. Really, really sad. Um, it's, it's sad that some people just got the short end of the stick. Some people wasn't blessed. You know, some people wasn't fortunate to be born to a wonderful family. Some people wasn't fortunate to be born a person who's considered attractive. Some people was just dealt a shit hand in life. And some people should have never been put on this earth. I don't know why in the fuck God created certain people. I guess God has a reason for what he does. But some people didn't deserve to be on this planet. And I'm one of those motherfuckers. Some people didn't deserve to be here. Some people would have been better off being in the dirt and never being here. Life is just not good for some people and some people, you know, no matter what they do in life, things just don't work out right for them. Things just don't go good for them. Nothing pops for them. They don't get no, 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 no privileges. Nothing good happens for them. So you got to figure if nothing good happens for you in life, what the fuck are you doing on this planet? Why the fuck are you even here? That's why I can greatly sympathize with people like Renegade Number One, people who blew they, blew their brains out. I sympathize with people who kill themselves. I'm not saying blowing your brains out is the right thing to do, but I I sympathize with people who kill themselves because it's like if you're not gonna be able to get any of the rewards that life has to offer, if things are not gonna go right for you, if you're not gonna get what you truly want out of life, what's the purpose of being here? You better off not even being on this planet. Just saying. Some people have a hard time in life. No matter what they do, things just don't work out for them. And it's so fucking sad. It's unfortunate. It's just, it's sad. And 
I don't know what to say. Some people got it bad. Some people got it good. And the people who are living a good life, the people who are part of the status quo, they could never understand what it's like for people who are unfortunate. You know, see, people who got it good, they could never sympathize with people who are not fortunate. That's why I could never be friends with a person who's in a better position than I am. Because it's going to be a conflict of interest. I could never fuck with someone who's in a better position in life than I am. You know, that will be like if you a dude who's not considered attractive and you hanging around a dude who's a sex symbol to women. That's a conflict of interest. You have no business hanging around someone like that. That's why I could never be around someone who's fortunate. I rather associate with people who are misfortune. You know, I rather fuck with people who are misfortunate. I don't want to fuck with people who are fortunate in life because those type of people are narcissistic pieces of shit, you know, and they don't give a fuck about people who are fucked up. They don't care about people who are in a bad position because they got it good in life. Everything is going good for them. See, people who got everything good in their life and they blessed and they got everything popping. They don't have the ability to, to care for nobody else because they are narcissistic piece of shit. People who are considered attractive are narcissistic pieces of shit. And I could never be in a position with someone who's in a better position than me. You know, that's just and, and I and this is advice that I give to anyone. If you're in a good position, hang with people who are in a good position. If you're in a bad position, hang with people who are in bad positions. So I just know that, you know, in life, you know, life is not fair. Some people got the short end of the stick. You know, God, he has favorites and he chooses to, you know, who he wants to bless and he chooses who he don't want to bless. And, you know, if you one of them people that got it bad in life, you was dealt a bad hand. You wasn't one of the fortunate people. I feel sorry for you. I feel your pain. And, you know, I'm going to say this for the record. People who kill themselves are not weak. They just got tired of dealing with the bullshit that life was giving them. So I'll never say a person is weak because they blow their brains out or put a bullet in their head. I'm not saying I condone that, but I'm just saying, you know, people who kill themselves, they got tired of the lemons that life was giving them. Things weren't working out. They wasn't getting their way in life. Things wasn't looking up for them. So they ended their shit. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do, but I greatly sympathize and I'm very compassionate towards those individuals. But I would never encourage a person to kill themselves. But, you know, like I say, at the end of the day, you don't know what people going through. You don't know what type of problems they got. So with that being said, God don't love everybody the same. He got favorites. Some people got it good in this world. Some people got it bad in this world. And that's just the way it is. Some people are going to live a great, prosperous life while other people are going to live a fucked up life. And they're going to just go through nothing but fucking hell. And that's the unfortunate state of reality, you know, and I'll say this for the record. No one wants to be a, a loser. No one wants to be a loser. Everybody wants to be a winner in life. But the question is. Not everybody has the question is, do you have what it takes to be a winner? Not everybody got what it takes to win in life. Some people ain't got the looks. They ain't got the intelligence. They don't come from a good family. Some people just don't have what it takes to be a winner in life. They just don't. And if you're one of those people that don't have what it takes to win, I greatly feel sorry for you. I sympathize with you. And if you're thinking about killing yourself, God bless you. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. This is something that I'm pretty sure a lot of people know this deep down, but they'll never admit it. God has favorites. He don't love everybody the same. And some people are just going to endure pain until the day they die. 
And this is one of the unfortunate realities of life. But I'm out.